Hey everyone, welcome back uh, to the latest developer video for Production Line. Uh, this is build uh, 1.34, that says 1.35 in the top because I just changed it uh, last night. Uh, so I'm going to talk about what's new in the version that we've just done, uh, which is uh, 1.34, and obviously talk about uh, what's coming up and what we're thinking about um, and stuff like that. Uh, you might notice if you just got the latest build that there's a new um, thing down here. We we sometimes change what's down here and this is asking about the difficulty level of the game. At the moment it seems that the, um, the majority of people think the difficulty is about right. Um, slightly more people think it's too difficult than think it's too easy but we've just made some changes when we released version 1.34 that you won't have really kind of um, experienced enough yet so uh, with any luck we've kind of addressed that already but we'll keep an eye on um, how that goes. So uh, let me just load up a game. I've got one. I think that one will will be a good one to show off what's new. Um, one of the most obvious new things that's gone in is why is that taking so long? Not a debug version. Is it? Have I loaded a debug version? We'll soon find out because it'll be the. Oh no, it's just it's just pretty big. <laughs> uh, one of the things that's gone in that's um, that's new and kind of like really obvious is the pickup truck. So I've got lots of car models here, and I've got a pickup truck, and ooh, lots of different colours. They look hideous in yellow, don't they? <laughs> Banana yellow. I think this is more like dysentery yellow. I don't even know if that's if that makes sense. Um, it is kind of more like see a doctor yellow. Um, I think I don't know why we need a better need a better yellow need to need to work on that maybe anyway so we got a pickup truck um, and it comes with the option of bull bars uh, which are actually banned in the UK I think I don't know if they're like, popular in America or not um, one of the interesting things um, about this is uh, when uh, looking up and doing the research for it 18% of vehicles sold in the US are pickup trucks, uh, which is quite surprising because here in the UK, where I am, um, this is not like a fashionable thing to have. You would not have one. Um, you would probably not have one unless you like needed it for some practical purpose. If you were worked in construction or or you were you know a farmer that needed one or something, it's. It's not a popular thing, really, um, whereas it really is in the UK. I don't know what it's like in the rest of Europe. Um, who knows? But it's in the game now. Um, I think it's 15% of the market in the game um, is set to be pickup trucks. Um, so, of course, that's a new thing that you have to design. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, what else has gone in? We've got some animation-y stuff. Um, I've gone on before about these spinny fans and yeah, I'm sure you're sick of me being excited about the spinny fans. Um, but look, look at these little presses here, stamping out wing mirrors somehow, a special wing mirror press. Um, so they're new. Um, and down here we've got some more, we've got these things here. Um, that are, I think that's making axles, isn't it? It wouldn't be made in a stamp, I know that, I know that, I know the game's not that accurate. Um, and here we're making fuel tanks, I think, on a different press. Um, so, like, the system works in terms of that, in terms of animation. So we're going to be putting in more animation, which I think, I think it does, it does help the look of the game. Something that I'm thinking of doing, and I'm almost certainly going to do it today, is changing things so that um, we have red robots. Which we have, they're, they're in the game. There's, I think there's one slot that has them that makes certain parts of an engine. Um, and I was holding off on putting them in thinking I'd have like expensive robots, high quality robots, whatever. Which we probably will have at some point. But I was thinking that at the moment, uh, they do welding. Check out the welding. Yeah, great, welding, right? But if we go here, where we're fitting um, the steering wheel, you know, I've never worked in a car factory, but even I know the steering wheel is not like welded on. Um, and everything gets welded because, you know, welding robots. So I think that's kind of ridiculous. It's been in for a while. But what I thought we'd do is we'd have welding robots, which would be red, and they'd be in like the, the, uh, the body construction area like this. And then other robots would, would stay orange. 
um, and they would uh, they would not have sparks. They'll just make all the sounds, um, but they won't have sparks because obviously they're not welding, and it is a little bit silly. Um, and part of the reason for this is, is is I want the factory to to look a lot more like. Um, you can look at an area and go, oh yeah, that's where the body's made over there with all the sparks flying. I might really exaggerate the sparks as well. Um, I did think about doing like proper lighting, which I've done quite a lot. Um, I know how to do this sort of stuff, so it looks really good. Um, I did it in Gratuitous Space Battles 2, if you want to see what I'm um, talking about. Um, the trouble is... it. it, it well, it like doubles the amount that you draw. It's pretty. It's a big deal to do it. Um, but I could have it for certain, certain like uh, I don't know if, if if like you have really like um, high end PCs or maybe I just need to opt better. I don't know. One day I may do that because um, I would love to see like a, a slightly darker factory but with sparks flying all over the place and lights flashing where robots are working. I think that would be amazing. Um, but that's long in the future anyway. So I might be changing robot colours is what I'm getting at. Uh, what else have we done? What else have we done? Um, it's a trivial thing. You probably didn't notice. Um, but if you look at the wing mirrors of cars, they're the same colour as the car, except bits where they've got built-in indicators, which some of the SUVs do. Um, and uh, due to a stupid bug on my part, that wasn't uh, happening until recently. Um, blah blah blah. Um, I also changed for I think it's just for pickup trucks and sports cars at the moment that they only use one seat, which doesn't make any sense. But it used to be that cars would use up four seats. This is obviously four. so there'd be like four seats when you fitted them. If they were two seat cars, obviously they need to use half as many. Now that now they do. Think of them as like pairs of seats, maybe. That's that that's the sort of sensible way to do it. There's our seat fitting area down there. Um, so now it actually um, obviously that changes the way that stock goes through when you're fitting seats if you've got two seater cars. There's a pickup truck actually in Oh no, hang on. No, no, that's a four wheel drive. Where's a pickup truck? There you go. Horrible colour again. Horrible colour. Um, I need better colours for them. Anyway, anyway, so there's that. Um, we're probably going to change these icons. You know when you go out and you, you see the, the coloured icons? I'm going to try and get versions of these for each body style. So you can zoom out and go, are there any are there any sports cars? Oh look, there's a sports car without having to zoom in. Um, I think that would be good. I'm not sure if practically you'll be able to tell that much. Um, there is a big... Thing that's changing and that's the price now if you if you watch this video today the price on steam last time i checked was still fifteen dollars 99 um we're putting the price up to seventeen dollars 99 we've already done it direct um and we've notified steam they have to approve it um so i don't know how long that takes um but the price will go up um assuming that they approve it um any day now to 17.99 i think that's fair enough um there's a lot in the game. This is this is a this is a big complicated game now with loads of stuff in it, um, and over five thousand hours of my work has gone into it. Um, so I think that I think that's that's fair enough. Um, we haven't discounted the game by a single dollar since it was released, um, and I quite like I like the idea that if you want to buy the game, and you see the price and you think it's fair, you buy it. You don't have to. Think, oh, it'll be discounted next week or next month. It won't. Um, something else that we changed here. You'll notice if we go to prices that, oh my god, what's going on? Prices all seem to be following this pattern and it's a nightmare. I've changed that so it's it's not as um, affected by competition as it used to be because I think it got kind of out of control and I know people were annoyed about that. And I may reevaluate that um, quite a bit. Actually, um, I think it might be more useful in the long run to show you the value of features, which you can see here. Um, but you kind of have to do some maths to work it out, and like that's ridiculous. Um, which, if the price of components doesn't change that much, which I'd like to um, to swap to, then it's the price of. I don't know. I don't know. We could put it on imports as well. Maybe, maybe that price should be. 
be shown there as well. I don't know, all that kind of stuff, you know, it's not final. We're still working on the game. I know it needs some improvement. Um, but hopefully, you know, um, the game is getting better and better. Um, it certainly feels that I can play it for, for a, a, a lot longer um, without running out of stuff to do. Um, so uh, what else do we have coming up? So there's a, there's a few minor things that I want to change, a few like user interface things. Um, blah, blah, blah. I won't bore you with those. Oh, yeah, this thing here. You know when you do this and you go copy from slot? Oh, look at that. That user interface is awful. Um, it's not even uh, sorted by alphabetically. I'm going to fix that. That annoys me. Um, we're also going to improve marketing so when you run a marketing campaign you get some sort of lingering effects afterwards because I think that's important. Um, blah blah blah. You know that thing where you're laying a conveyor belt and it goes over the top of an existing car? Like this. You demonstrate. Say I want to add a junction um, like there. I wouldn't because that doesn't make any sense. But I, I just lost a car doing that. I just destroyed a car. Um, I'm going to try and find a way to save that car and put it back um, because that's really annoying and a bit silly, isn't it? Um, and then it's on to hybrid and electric engines, um, which I keep talking about, and I'm sorry, but um, I would much rather fix what we have before adding um, new stuff like that. When I'm putting something like a pickup truck or new sound effects or whatever, um, someone else is working on it. So for me to put it in doesn't take that long. So don't think that I've spent the last week working on pickup trucks um, because it actually only took about two hours to put in in total um, because we've got quite a, a sort of automated pipeline for doing that sort of thing now, which is, which is really good. So uh, that's what has been happening um, in the last week. Um, always very interested to read people's feedback um, on this video or on Facebook. We have a Facebook page. There's a subreddit for the game. I don't know if you know that. Um, and also we have our own forums as well. And it may not seem like I read everything, but I do. Um, it, it just takes me a while because there's also the Steam forums and Steam reviews, which are great. Thank you for reviewing the game so um, so highly on Steam. That's excellent. Um, and you know, it's it's always interesting um, because sometimes people come up with fantastic ideas, and sometimes stuff in the game that I think people are loving, people are thinking that's rubbish. Why is that in? Um, feedback's really important during early access, and we we do really appreciate it. I can see here I've got loads of insufficient resources. I need to talk about how to how to fix that once and for all. Um, I don't want to completely fix it because the game is a game of bottlenecks. And I'm sure in a real factory there are bottlenecks, you know. So, um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, so um, thank you for watching this video. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you um, if you uh, don't want to miss the kind of like latest one. They're pretty much every Sunday. If you haven't got the game, look, it's cool. Why haven't you got it? Um, and get it now because if you if you leave it a day or two, uh, it will go up two dollars. Um, anyway, so this is Production Line by Positech Games. It's in early access on Steam, GOG, and the Humble Widget. Uh, I'm Cliff Harris, Cliffski, uh, the um, programmer and designer of the game. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.